Hi, this is Carol Copeland Thomas, and this is today's tip to help you empower others throughout the holiday season. Learn more about Watch Night. Watch Night is big in the Black community, and I grew up with Watch Night and my children grew up with it, and Watch Night is still very, very important and relevant and significant uh, when you're talking about December 31st. It goes back to December 31st, 1862, when Black people and white people around the country were literally anticipating the 12 o'clock gong happening and January 1st taking place, 1863, when President Abraham Lincoln had literally freed all the slaves in the states that were rebelling against the North. And that's important to distinguish that. So it three million slaves who were in the states and they were literally freed because of his executive order. He had actually did a warning in September of 1862 and said that if by January 1st, 1863, if the slate, the states that were rebelling had not come back into the union, that the slit, that the slaves were going to be automatically freed. That was huge. I mean, decades, uh, more than a century of of bondage of people. And literally with a pen stroke, things changed forever. And so today, we now celebrate. In fact, many people in other cultures go to Christmas Eve service, and it's very, very important in in, in other cultures. But in the black community, you go to church on December 31st. If you're going to the club or going partying or whatever, that's okay. That's fine. But you got to stop by church first, pray, pray. Thank your your Lord, and then move on to the social engagements that you're going to be involved in. It's just part of our culture. It's 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 as much as part of our culture as Black Eyed Peas served on January 1st in Black households, giving us good luck. And so culturally, it's a rich tradition. I am actually going to talk about it on my blog on December 31st. So please go to my website. That's tellcarol.com, T-E-L-L-C-A-R-O-L. So that you can learn and read about a watch night and the Emancipation Proclamation and the states that were impacted by it and why that literally was the turning point of the Civil War. Later on in 1863, we had the Battle of Gettysburg, which was a major victory, many victories, uh, many battles in between. But that literally turned the tide for the North and the Union troops or the troops of the Potomac, there were many names for them, that gave them ultimately the competitive advantage or edge to lose that, to win that very, very, very brutal and and, uh, awful war that took place uh, well over 150 years ago. But when you're talking about December 31st, and you're talking about the black community, you are definitely talking about Watch Night and its significance then in 1862, but its significance now in 2016. Read about it at tellcarol.com. Share it with your friends. If you have a chance, go to church. We'd love to have you to uh, uh, do your particular uh, ritual at church. That would be a great thing on December 31st. This is Carol Copeland Thomas. Thanks so much for watching. And we have two bonus video blogs that are going to take place tomorrow and the next day. Thank you.